Hello everybody and welcome to the Alien vs Predator Galaxy YouTube channel. You're watching our first ever recorded attempt at doing a let's play of the Alien, the role-playing game by Free League. Now, if you've followed some of our socials, you'll have seen we've joined in with um, Studio Utani on some of her live streams. And we, we've played it a fair few times, but we've just not attempted to do a recording for our own outlets. So uh, we're going to be giving it a go this time. Uh, if you're new to AVP Galaxy, I'm Aaron Percival. Uh, I go by Corporal Hicks on the on the community. That that's the alias I've chosen to go by. And the co-administrator of the website and um, all the social media and stuff like that. And if you listen to our podcast, I'm the usual host and editor of that. And joining me are two familiar voices um, from the podcast and from some of our other YouTube content as well. First up, we have Mr. Adam Zeller. Hello, everyone. I'm also known as Ridgetop on our forums. And our second familiar guest is, or host? One of the two. Yeah. That's me. Yeah. Eric Adams, otherwise known as Xenomorphine on the forums. And we're joined by a familiar person. If you have been watching those live streams with Studio uh, Utani, is a community member on our boards and a frequent RPG um, collaborator, I guess, uh, Mr. Jonesy. Hello. Hey, guys. Uh, go by the other Aaron as well. I'm Aaron the, Matthews. Or like, the uh, other Aaron. Yeah, the other Aaron. It's, it's, it's all right because I go by Aaron. So. Oh, really? So, yeah. yeah, I've always gone by Aaron. So uh, there we go. There's the distinguish distinguishing. Um, but yeah, Although we I'm spell them the same, though, don't we? Double A R O N. Yeah. I, yeah. I blame the parents, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> and we are also joined by another special guest. He, uh, well, you know what? I'll let you talk about yourself here. Um, welcome, Dave, from the Effect Podcast. Uh, can you tell folk a, a little about yourself? Yeah, hi. Thanks, uh, Aaron, and everybody else for inviting us on. Uh, Dave from the Effect Podcast with my co-host Matthew, who unfortunately couldn't make it today. But um, yeah, we are long-term fans of Free League, um, long-term podcasters um, about Free League stuff, but not just Free League stuff, also about um, Swedish gaming and sort of world of gaming, but mostly Free League. Uh, we have our own AP channel as well on the podcast, and we do a little bit of, of YouTube um, broadcasting on a Monday where we're running through Coriolis. Um, lucky enough to have done some freelancing, so I'm kind of responsible for some of the attacks that might kill some of us during this. Um, <laughs> and it's my first time ever playing Alien. Um, I've GM'd it tons, but this is my first um, occasion to be on the other end of the uh, other end of the dice. So thanks for having me on. Really looking forward to it. I am very good at rolling sixes. <laughs> it's going to be a short game then <laughs> well we we've done this scenario three times or is this is this the third this would be the third but it's never been the same yeah but our, 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 our first run through of it um mr zeller got us killed Death. hey i was just following Death. my personal agenda within <laughs> two to our, our graves how, how long was it? Was that about an hour in and we barely made it far? Yeah. About an hour and 30. Yep. And we barely got in and, and he got us killed. It was... So that didn't really count. Which is why we don't let him play the captain characters anymore. Hey, I, I should get another <laughs> chance sometime. It doesn't matter. He's just shooting my synthetic otherwise. <laughs> That's Straight us all on the other one. Hey, you, you were acting like you were I, I was responsible, it, and I was actually going <laughs> to save you from being face-hugged, and you just turned the shotgun on me. If it wasn't for you trying to run past me up the ramp into the ship and asking Chris earlier, hey, can I just to reload shoot? my gun? Yeah. <laughs> As in face huggers. Right, but I didn't get that. I thought you meant shoot us all. I'm getting a flavor of what this evening is going to go like. <laughs> yeah. Everyone yeah. trusts each other. <laughs> we, we don't all turn on each other at all, do we? Well, I learned my lesson last time because I, I feel like, Aaron, you taught me not to trust anyone because I I extended the olive branch to your character who then fucked us all over and left us to die. And then the next time we played with Eric, I was like, nope, I'm not trusting anyone now. I'm just going to kill him. And it's like, oh, yeah, he wasn't trying to screw us over. So 
And Dyer is the only you, one left functional. You've got, you've got to leave your old knowledge behind. <laughs> yeah. On a fresh branch each time. And there's one last person that we haven't introduced because as always, we go off the rails. Um, uh-huh. Another familiar community guest on, on our podcast, on some of our YouTube content. And um, he's, he's always generally always our game mother when we're playing, whether we're recording, live streaming, or just pissing around, is uh, my good buddy, Mr. Chevy. Hello, everyone. Glad to be back. Also known as Chris in the real world. Yep. You'll it's always it. be my mum, Chris. <laughs> I'm missing out on that. <laughs> ah, that took me a second there Tum- to process. Tumbleweed goes by there. <laughs> just, just don't ask me how it works. Uh, <laughs> yes. We're dropping all these frigging callbacks to, to <laughs> For those who are unaware, episodes. <laughs> yeah, Ridge Top broke the blue screened mother by <laughs> looking at an alien and saying, How does it work? And Chris is like, I was just I was just following my character's special ability. It's like you can ask the GM any of these questions and I asked, How does it work? Because I was like, Well, maybe it'll it'll give me a weak spot or something. It exists. <laughs> it did, you broke the game. <laughs> right then. So are we all ready to be killed in horrible ways. I should, we, should we introduce our characters before you watch the story, um, or should we watch the story? I'm going to watch the story, you, and then ask you to introduce your characters. Okay, well. Okay. So, this is a, a self written scenario, which I believe we're going to publish at some point on the Even the P Galaxy site. Uh-huh. So, it's called The Hill of Erebus, and what's the story, mother? So the year is 2185, and you are aboard the Magellan, a private-owned starship uh, owned by Captain Sean Brennan. The Magellan is a prospecting ship which sets out into the unknown depths of space to find valuable planetary bodies, rich in resources that can be sold to the highest bidder. Uh, As crew, you know each other quite well, and you've done multiple jobs together in the past. And of course, the job has its risks, but it certainly pays well, and Sean gives out shares that corporate workers can only dream of. The only problem now is that the frontier is expanding and therefore so do your journeys into the black. And on this trip, you've had to arrange to collect some fuel cells from a newly formed colony called Stanton's Gap, which is a joint venture by Siegson and Wayland yutani By the time you reach orbit, the colony should have been up and running now for about seven months. Captain Brennan's contact on Stanton's Gap is Administrator Jacqueline Dawes, who will be supplying you with five fuel cells for your uh, for your ship, so that you can continue your journey. You've been supplied with the landing site coordinates of fifty three point three seven 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 five five minus one point uh, three four four zero two nine. You expect to receive an automated signal after hailing the station. Uh, and you already know in advance that the landing will be automated because of the high winds that the planet is planet is prone to. So whilst you dream and the Magellan peacefully among the stars, the hill of Erebus stirs. Well, I like so, that. I like that little tagline on the end of that. <laughs> so Hicks, I will get you to introduce your character first, please. Okay. So I am playing Mr. David. I, I introduce everybody as Mr. Um, I'm play, playing David McLean. McFarlane, sorry. Um, I wonder if he's related to um, Todd. I wonder, I wonder if I've got some alien and predator figure making in my past. <laughs> I am the ship's mechanical engineer. I'm 47 years old and I've been a ship's mechanic for as long as I can remember. My parents were both mechanics and met aboard a different ship, the USCSS Kintaro. Last year, I took a chance by leaving my job with Wayland Utani to pursue better pay and shares with Sean Brennan, who's, uh, as I understand it, very generous with, um, with our dollar, which I appreciate. So far, it's worked out. The last trip netted me four years worth of pay. Four years. You know what, Sean? I love you already. <laughs> and it's about damn time somebody took my skills seriously nobody knows the heart of this ship nobody knows how the heart of this ship works better and I know it one of the contributing factors to me leaving Wayland yutani was their corporate appro- approach to fixing equipment 
uh, I reported a faulty airlock seal and the corporate figure in charge lost the paperwork so that there wouldn't be an inconvenience. This decision resulted in the death of three apprentices and that corporate dirtbag is now behind bars. Ever since, I've suffered from panic attacks, replaying the scenario in my head over and over. And I just haven't trusted corporate people ever since. Anyway, that, that is me. Uh, so, Dave, if you want to introduce yourself. Yeah, hi, I'm, uh, I'm Alana Reed. And I'm a 33-year-old confident woman, and I am the security officer for um, uh, Sean Brennan and Magellan. I've been working for Sean now, or Captain Brennan, as I, I suspect I should refer to him, um, for three years, and I really enjoy the job. Um, not only do I really enjoy it, I'm really damn good at it as well. Um, ship security can be can be problematic and have complications, but there's never been a problem that I haven't been able to overcome. I even managed to persuade Captain Brennan um, to employ my friend Phoebe as a medical officer on board. The only thing that kind of grates and grips my shit a little bit is having to put up with my brother, who's also on board. Um, you know, he's family. <laughs> uh, you know, I love him. He's family, but he's... Uh, yeah, he's got a bit of a big mouth on him, and uh, you know sometimes he just needs to to learn when to to shut up. But apart from that, um, I pretty much enjoy what I'm doing, and I I like working for Captain Brennan. It's it's a profitable um, profitable business. Okay, so uh, Eric, if you'd like to introduce your character, please. Mm -hmm. Get the sheet up. Um, Sean Brennan, captain and business owner, 41. A few years ago, you struck it lucky on a surveying mission, and you got, which got you to the here and now. Back then, it was just you and a small ship that could accommodate three people, but you couldn't afford the crew members. You managed to find an asteroid belt rich in rare minerals and metals. Sure, the Three World Empire came out better, but the sale of information once verified, of course, has set you up for life. You managed to buy yourself a top-of-the-line surveying ship, and you can employ the four crew members that accompany you without any sweat. Since then, you've completed a few more surveying trips, all of which were successful, thanks in part to the technology aboard the Magellan, and you've been selling the information to the highest bidder. You could retire tomorrow if you wanted. You really like the crew you managed to form, but you can't help but get irritated by Phoebe. Damn you, Phoebe, for a reason you just can't put your finger on. <laughs> Phoebe, what the hell, man? So, uh, Adam? If you to sexual tension. Me. <laughs> me. Yeah, me. So, I am playing Phoebe Cooper. I am the ship's medic. I am 32, 32 years old. And I have a caring personality. I've always put other people before myself. And it's part of the reason why I think I make such a good medical officer. After finishing up my medical courses, I followed my friend Alana to the stars. And I have accompanied her on a few jobs. When Alana got a job aboard the Magellan, she insisted they needed a qualified medical officer aboard. And then insisted Sean offer me a job. I get the idea Sean doesn't like me too much. But that doesn't matter since he pays so well. I'll do anything I can to help people in need, even if it inconveniences me. And I've put myself at risk more than once to ensure somebody gets the medical treatment they require. Okay, and uh, Josie? So I've actually already been introduced by my lovely sister, Alana, <laughs> which I would just like to point out, she wouldn't even have the chance to give an introduction if I didn't get her job, this job on this ship. So thanks. I'm sis. not sure that's Sorry exactly <laughs> But uh, I'm Elliot, I'm mid-30s, I am the pilot, I am a damn good pilot, um, and probably the only thing I, I like and enjoy more than showing off my sick maneuvers is making fun <laughs> of my sister. Uh, it's definitely a love-hate relationship, I love to hate her, and <laughs> other than that, I'm just looking for that one big payday, and I'm hoping to retire on a, on a big, big catch. And apparently my character is best buddies with yours. So I let oh, you yeah? get away with everything. So. 
I think in our last one, didn't uh, so I played Phoebe in our last one, and I think I kind of was like a, a mother figure to the to the the siblings. Was that correct? Remember that Hicks? I think that sounds about right. Yeah. <laughs> <Things have> <laughs> so yeah, you changed. you've been woken up then, uh, and you find yourself on the bridge, and mother has told you that you're entering the orbit now of where you expect to find Stanton's gap. So. I will leave the ball into your fine people's hands and hopefully you'll get to complete the story without uh, being mauled or, you know, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Go find out. Go on then, Eric. Show, show me some of these legendary captain skills I've been hearing about. <laughs> okay, I better trundle off to mother. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first port of call. That's what Dallas This port of call. Yeah. Presumably or, our, our... Or... Yeah, go on. Well, presumably, our, presumably our expert pilot will should be already making contact with the ground control and uh, you know confirming our arrival and everything. So um what are you doing? Here, everybody's yeah? Put that coffee down and go and do your job, mate. Go on. Anna, shut up for one second. <laughs> I'm gonna go over to the bridge and uh, yeah, I can see if there are any we'll comments. To the bridge. Where is the bridge? Well, we're, okay. we're on the planet at the minute. Ignore the map. Oh, yeah, okay. the... <laughs> we're in theatre of mind now. Um... <laughs> so yeah, can I do? Can, I guess a comtech would it be to see if I can communicate with uh, the settlement? You don't. You don't need to do a comtech role uh, at the okay. moment. Uh, from what you see, there is. Looking at the your instruments, there is a ship, a small ship, that is moving towards. What you would know is called is called the Troy, and the Troy brought like these little colony modules. And it, so basically, the colony that you see on the ground, they're all modules from the ship, that, and this this little ship that's on its way up uh, is the type that would have taken them down, if you know what I mean, or landed them. Car- cargo lander uh, kind of thing. It's like a cargo lander, yeah. So at the moment, that's what you can see is a, is a little ship which is on its way back up. And the IFF is reading Darius. It's for, its, for its transponder signal. Okay. And it's heading towards the Troy, you say? Yep. Yeah. Is there any oh. air traffic control or anything that we need to be trying to kind of, kind of communicate with? Well, you 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 were told... Well, the captain was told that if they, when, as soon as you get there, to radio down, you'll be okay. given a landing pad, and it will be an automated landing because they don't have everything set up. Okay, right. I'm, assu- yeah. I'm assuming mother. You has, are expected. I've interfaced with mother. Mother's ever says everything is a okay. Blah blah blah. Yep. Okay, so I'm I'm at the bridge then, and I say, get to it, radio them in. So you've now got to role play that. Yeah, if you want me to set a course, I, 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 it's automated, isn't it? It will be. Yeah. <laughs> Still got a punch in the autopilot. Yeah. Presumably, we do want the pilot to be ready to interact, just in case something goes wrong with the automated landing. Well, is yeah. This, uh, is this common? Do we do this a lot, or is this? Because uh... as security officer, I do feel that the, the you know, trusting the security of the ship to a an unknown, like uh, automated harbor pilot, doesn't feel like a really clever idea to me. Huh. Captain, I, I I imagine they're always there, just ready anyway. It's not like I don't think Elliot's sat with his feet up on the kitchen counter. I think that's just my sister saying she wants her little brother to protect her and guide her down safely. Ah, I don't that's... want you to crash the ship, Elliot. That's what it is. <laughs> Click on the autopilot. It's standard procedure. Okay. Go by the book. Autopilot. So, Jonesy. <laughs> yep. You get back a failed response. Oh, from so, the, the comms? From the comms, it's a failed response. As in, there's no response at all? Or... The, the signal... It, the coordinates are totally out. Okay. Is there a... So if you want to do a contact roll... Okay. Yeah. 
Can you I got, get an assist on that? You got this, Elliot. I believe in you. <laughs> uh, can Can I get an assist on that one, GM? If someone can assist you, yeah, I can. I can, I can come and help you, brother. It's okay. Oh, so so nice <laughs> make, of you. Sure I can. Give, I can give a commentary as well. Anyone else? So no, I can do up to three. Let me I? check my stats. Uh, my contact is zero, so I cannot. How about you, Cap? I've got zero in okay. contact. I'll do a plus two then. Okay, so we great. Two success. I told you you could do so, it. Working together, then uh, you manage to you manage to actually find the signal that you're supposed to be picking up, but the coordinates are completely different. So the coordinates you were given initially. With fifty three point three seven 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 five five dash one point three four four zero two nine. The actual coordinates that transponders at is fifty four point one four four eight one six dash one point one 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 three oh six. It's about sixty miles out of position to the north. Uh, the colony is not where it's supposed to be. I'm reading something funny with these coordinates. It seems like the signal is coming from a different location, about 60 miles north of the settlement. Well, this is a mobile modular colony. Could they have moved and the information just hasn't been updated? We want to try and communicate with that small ship to see if they know what's, what the latest update is here. That sounds a logical move, yeah. Yeah, can we try and communicate with the, uh, yep. what is it called? The, uh, the, the Darius. Darius. Yep, Darius. Yep. Yeah. It's the one. Okay. So you open a comm link, and after a, a few seconds, uh, who's who's watching this? Oh, <laughs> I guess you know, you know that's well, when yeah. something's about to. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I assume I'm going to be watching. So I assume yeah. everybody is. Yeah. We'll all just okay. we'll tear it over. So, <laughs> but we'll say, like, Captain Brennan, he's got a lot of money. He can afford a big screen like Star Trek. <laughs> <laughs> so you are greeted by uh, a female, and she is drenched in blood. She has got tears streaming down her face. And she goes, hello, hello. Hello, hello is anyone there? Do you need assistance? <laughs> Security oh. officer. I... I, I I don't know what's happening. Like, there's things down there. I, I just had one of them got on board, and I, ha I just killed six of my friends. I had to jettison them. <laughs> Shit. They're from the colony, from the surface. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, they found something. They found something to the north. What did they uh, find? Uh, these, these things. I don't, I don't know what they are. And next to you, you hear. Uh, a door open off off screen and she goes hello and then something moves across the screen at lightning speed and she's got her like straps on her pilot straps and it rips her out of the pilot uh, out of the straps of the seat and you just hear screaming and blood flying everywhere so you can all take a stress uh, thought that was coming yeah, yeah. You, you knew as soon yeah. as he asks who's watching. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we um can we bring the recording? Is it something that's saved so we can bring it up and do a slow motion? See if we can kind of. Oh no, you must no. have saved it. But Jonesy, you, you're looking at your scanner. Yeah. That ship's on a collision course with the Troy. Evade it. Evade in. Well, how, how? Wait, are, we're not in the Troy, are we? Are we in? No. You're not in the Troy. How far away from the Troy are we? Oh, you're quite. You're quite. A distance, you're safe. Okay. How's it called? But uh, the Magellan. Magellan. Oh. So and you do see both blips converge, and then disappear. We have weapons. Oh, they already crashed. Oh, never yeah, mind. They. they... <laughs> <laughs> so I told you I'd give you a reason to take a gun with you. <laughs> <laughs> so no, I was I was just thinking maybe we could stop the ship impact, but they already crashed. So yes, they're just gone. Uh, it's done. Did it destroy both of them then? Is the yes. Troy destroyed? Okay. Wow. Troy is destroyed. Hope there wasn't well, anybody on board. Uh, well, she. What did uh, What did she say on in the recording? She said, um, "Sick, sick." She had to kill six of her friends. She jettisoned them. 
Yeah, she must have been the last survivor, but there was something on board with her that... The idea, the impression that you get is that something snuck on as the door was closing and killed. Start to start killing people. So if it's something like Alien Resurrection where it goes into the pod. Uh-huh. And they're, they're just stuck in there. So she tried to jettison the people. But it obviously survives in vacuum. So I want I want to turn to Sean, Captain. I think whatever's down there could be worth something of serious value. I think it's definitely worth pursuing. This is a biological outbreak, and you're thinking about finding something of value. Yeah, hey, I'm just looking for that one big score, baby. Are we, dis- are we discounting <laughs> the fact that this this woman was just mad and went space? Whether, whether it's um, someone going psychotic or there's clearly something on board there. Let me tell you. We are not outfitted. For there might have been another person. No, two people gone mad, maybe. I'm very familiar with mad women. Uh, my sister is one of them. But <laughs> that did not sound like that. Something. No, you're not... familiar with angry women, if you're talking about me, not mad. Oh, boy. Here we go again. <laughs> I mean, and we, we couldn't see it, but... We, there was something something, something there. came into frame. What well, whatever it is, there's um. It, she said it came from the surface. I don't really want to risk going down there if that's um. It led to a clear massacre aboard one of their ships. Mm. Well, well can we can we my, my, send a call, signal? Captain. But I I have a feeling that our our GM here is going to make sure we <laughs> land. As ship's engineer, can I just point out that we have to go down there for the fuel cells, otherwise we're going to be um, maybe not crashing into some other ships, but we're going to be some really blue corpses when the power runs out and the life support runs okay. out. Do we have a um, our cargo hull or something we can use as a shuttle without actually risking our ship touching down and getting infected? You do. You have a small uh, atmosphere-capable uh, ship called the Sabrosa. And would that allow us to haul that up with it if we manage to get hold of them? The fuel cells. we need, yeah. How many, yeah, how many do yep. we need? A couple? You need five. Do we how have big, hazards? How big are they? Uh, not to take with you. Not Normally, you wouldn't be getting out of your ship kind of thing. Normally, you would do all your surveying from inside. Oh, it's a, it's an automated thing, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, there you go. Well, we're um. So we don't have any hazards. Cosmic suits? forces I mean... are clearly forcing us to land somehow. <laughs> I'd like to take precautions as much as possible. Well, we've got some armor at least. And you you need to stop thinking about Prometheus. Come on, put all those other films <laughs> away. I'm, I'm we're in a spaceship. In we our... have EVA suits or we have yeah. hazard yes, suits or whatever. We, we're not, again, we're not expecting to go down and the planet's terraformed, isn't it, Chris? Or it was already yeah, what, habitable? What is the it's atmosphere habitable. like? It's habitable. Okay. It, it's Earth-like. It's just that there are ridiculously high winds, which is why you've got all these wind shields oh. around the colony. And there's already a colony there. Maybe, hopefully well, they've already done their antivirus scans, Adam. Right, that's that's what all the screaming was about. Yes, <laughs> they, they have everything under control. It was a very large <laughs> space gym, is what it was. It was clearly some kind of large organism, whether it was another human or not, I can't tell. But something large was in there. It's not a, it's not a pathogen-related thing. Listen, so put, I, put your I, Prometheus I, thoughts to the side and let's... I'm positive that when we get there, if we come across one of these things, my sister will be brave and step in front of us all and take one for the team. Isn't that right, Alana? She can wear the armor. There I'll, you go. I'll, I'll put in place security protocols that will keep us safe, yeah. Okay. Look, I'm going gonna, gonna to ask for volunteers to go down to the surface. I'm not going to force you all to go down there. I'm in. I'm in. I don't, I don't like this idea, but I'm the medic, so I feel obligated to... Oh, yeah, I thought you to come. Company. Company. Well, I'm, I'm the security <laughs> officer, so I, I need to come. Okay. I think we're all behind you. Later on, when the screws in. up, um, I'm not going to be blamed for it. <laughs> oh, I always we... knew you were a shirking responsibility captain. You're, you're sounding kind of corporate, actually. He's a good captain. 
He's a, he good, is a good captain. captain. I've, I've, I've set you up, haven't I? We've done good stuff together. Yeah, but a, what's what's with this sort of? It's not my fault if anything goes wrong. You all volunteered attitude. I've got gallows. <laughs> well, no, that's what it is. It's it's yeah. not it's not shirking responsibility. After Are seeing we... something like that on the monitor, I need some light relief. So you're gonna have... Do we know how many people are on this colony? Have we been here before, or do we have some information about it? Is it thousands, or is before. it dead tens, no. dozens? Your, it, so this would have been like the first wave. Uh, you were expecting around 30 people here. Right. Famous. It's, like so, it's like a or... trading post. Yeah. Wait, a wait it, station. It, it was due to uh, get bigger. Like it, The capacity is bigger. Than what it's currently holding. Okay. Or not now. <laughs> so, spoilers! <laughs> as, as we need to get these fuel cells, what's going to be yep. involved, Mother? Do we, do we have to go inside the guts of the colony, or are they outside somewhere waiting for us to pick them up? Or Well, your, uh, your contact is supposed to be bringing these fuel cells to you upon your arrival. So that'd be at the um, still alive. landing. Basically, the Jacqueline, yep. Jack, Jacqueline Dawes. Jacqueline Dawes. Okay. Does she have a like? Is there a private line or a, a different way of communicating with her? Uh, not currently. No. The communications but, hasn't haven't been set up. Not properly. All, all you've got is an automated landing, and which it, isn't this, working. Data. Place where we're that meant to working. land. Okay. The place where we're meant to land is sixty miles away, or the, just the signal is. That's where the signal was. Yeah. The colony is totally okay. out of position. So, but so the, the, so the colony situation. itself is oh. sixty miles. Yeah. Yes. So it's sixty miles away from where it should have been. Okay. okay. Yeah, that's um, a little dodgy. So, so what's the plan? Mm. We're going to take the carrier the down. Yeah. Um, we're going to have to... Um, well, that is just a nice little shuttle, isn't it? It's not a look up shuttle. The, yeah. Look up the catalogue of inventory, relevant inventory we have. Are we going to... Should we do that here or before... before yeah. We, Al- on the shuttle before we get out? Well, Al- Alana is the one who is um, savvy about our um, relevant security-related equipment and such. What have yeah. we got? Um, well, we've got a reasonably decent selection, so um, we'll also want to take down with us relevant uh, you know maintenance equipment just in case we need to do any work on the on the shuttle just in case mm-hmm. presumably are we going to be flying the shuttle or will we be linking that into the automatic pilot harbor pilot that we it will have to be linked right okay okay um so we've got um two side arms one pulse rifle one incinerator unit um one set of personnel armor um a sentry gun a bolt gun and a cutting torch. I love that we can afford a sentry gun, Captain. Hang on, have I sent you the wrong list? <laughs> That's oh, what no. I've got on my list here <laughs> of handouts. I was wondering why we had a sentry gun. It's because I'm a very, very considerate security yeah. officer. Yeah, that's I take it. every precaution. I'm like, what do we need? Probably going to need a sentry gun one day. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Got what have I sent you? I don't even know what I've sent you because that's not what I have here. Yeah, it's, on it's, my, in the hand, it's in my, the handouts. Yeah, this is my. Oh, handouts. sorry. No, they're just things that you could possibly come across. Sorry. Oh, okay. 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 So, uh, mother, what? So, what have we got? Got? Yeah. yeah. Right. So you have one pulse rifle okay. with two magazines. Okay. As security officer, I think I'll take that. I think that seems <laughs> reasonable. I, I'm assuming you've got um, decent ranged combat. I'm, I'm good at that, yes. yeah. That's a good okay. point. There are three M4A3 service pistols with one magazine each. Oh, the, the shit one should probably take the pistol, shouldn't they? What's everyone's, uh, yeah, what's everyone's ranged? I've got a seven. So mine's I, oh, decent. you're good. I've got two. I'm a seven. I, I've got a one. Oh, okay, so maybe but you, 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 a... you add in your agility in with that as well, though, Eric. And oh, okay. Um, in that yeah. case, in that case, uh, no. With my agility, I have a five. Okay, okay. So, so I've got four, so I'm still the lowest. Four, team. five, and then Hicks and I are sevens. Yeah, so those two should probably have the piss, at least one pistol. Okay, so it's an M four A three. I'm assuming we've got more guns than that, and these are the shit ones that we're just giving out now. Is that right, Chris? Uh, you've got an incinerator unit as well. 
So just an incinerator, no more weapons after this. Uh, no. Okay, so, so we're going you, down there. a civilian ship, so you, you can't be armed to the team. Yeah, no, 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 uh, I, I get you've it. You've got it's to just... sell it as security. Yeah. So we're Someone going might down have one with... thing in a bet, you never know. <laughs> so, so we're, so we're we've going down with uh, two pistols, a, a pulse rifle, and an incinerator. How many? How many there was three pistols, weren't there? So oh, there's a weapon. Pistols. There's a weapon for each of us, yeah. How many? Yep. Okay, so Jones, it just depends where the many which reloads of us is having. pistols. Uh, there's one magazine each for those. For the pistols. Yep. Well, the well, one extra one. One extra ah, one. One, one, one each. One each. Two magazines. I'll take uh, one of the service pistols if that's okay. Yeah. So, sorry, who's, who's, who's you taking the incinerator unit? I was going to say, Hicks, do you want it? Um, What's tell you what, mate. Medium range, uh, and we've both got sevens. Yeah, so. you you go for it. I think you've got a better dice rolling than me. <laughs> Plus, we don't want to put the medic in harm's way if possible. Yeah. So is it good if I take one of the pistols then? Yeah, yeah. Well, I think there's there was enough for everybody. To I'm, yeah, I I'm taking a pistol. Rich top taking a pistol. I'm having one as well. Yeah. And then That's halfway. The siblings have the uh, the heavy, the good stuff. Awesome. Yeah. yeah, the good stuff. Yeah. Anything good else? Stuff. You've also got a M three one six motion tracker with three power cells. Three battery. Who wants there, to take that? I'll is take there a the motion tracker. Stat for the good for that, or is it just? Would that be comtech or observation? Maybe no, I don't know. No, 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 that's no, that's just, just power. The power. Yeah. yeah. So it doesn't matter. Power roll. Maybe right. someone who has a, a pistol in terms of weight. Yeah, I think sure. Adam, Adam yeah. said he wanted it, didn't he? I'll take cool. the motion tracker as well. Yeah. Uh, there are four personal med kits. Four. Oh, well, I guess yeah. Adam wants Medical. those. Oh, should we Medic. have one each? Yeah. Have that. No, mm. we might, might as well have one each because anybody. Yeah, can medical apply, aid is they? pretty high. So, do I? How does how does the medical aid work? It, I just have a better chance to roll. I think you get extra dice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it gives you a plus two. Okay, so I'll take, I'll take one of the med kits. I say so. Rich Top has got one. Hicks needs one because they are the medic. No, I'm, I'm not the medic. Adam's the, the medic. medic. Oh, okay. um, but I can use someone else's med kit on them, right? Yeah. I think we're, we're probably just carrying them so Phoebe can use them. Yeah, I might as well just have one each. Spread it, spread out the weight of the gear. How many are there? There's four of them, though. Yep. Okay, so it's one of us doesn't. I'll leave it. Okay. okay. So Cap is gonna not get grab one. Okay. Yeah, we'll grab one. So other than that, there is one maintenance jack, which will class oh, well, as a heavy. I will, I will have that. I've got good heavy machinery. It makes sense. And you're the uh, you're the engineer. I'm, right? I'm the engineer anyway. Yeah. 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 I have to find him in the bloody rule book. So, mother, uh, the handouts, that's stuff that we may come across. Yeah, you may come across us. So, so it, was, it, was, it was personal med kits we had, weren't it? Yes. Yeah. Are, there, have, are there a couple of we... different kinds? Yeah, they're surgical. Oh, okay. Do we have a protective clothing? Not body armor. Or just even just any protective suit for yeah. What are we go, what stuff? are we going down in there? Just uh, civilian. You don't you? have yeah. It's yeah. just got nothing. What you wear. Okay. You don't have any body armor. Okay. I'm, I'm going to suggest, guys, that I give you a quick five minute security briefing before we go, and that will allow us all to rest for one turn and get rid of our point of stress. <laughs> if somebody's going to let us. I like that. Can I also ask the game mother, am I meant to only have two lots of health in this one? Because that seems very low compared to the other games. Humans you know? are very squishy. Okay. It's, it's, basically, it's, it's your strength that relates to your hit points. Does uh, everyone else have two health? I've got four health. I've got... I've got three. Five. Mm -hmm. I only have two. Okay, so it's different but, for people. Well, it's like I was saying earlier, I think we always used to play it far too aggressively anyway. The point the, the point is to avoid contact. Yeah, there are there, there, there are two rules that I, I work to. One is caution is the the best uh, ally to security, and the other one is 
uh, a kind word in a gun gets you further than just a kind word. Yeah, uh, and here's me saying, I don't think we should go to the planet, and everyone's saying, no, let's go down. <laughs> well, sometimes well, we, just we do have a story. To, to I know, you do. but it's they're a gate. They're a anyway, do we take the stress point off then? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Sometimes you do just happen to accidentally knock over a fire extinguisher. And <laughs> hey. There's killed. lots of nods to previous episodes. <laughs> well, un, un, un I think in previous sessions, not episodes. We haven't. Pre yeah, it's true. Yeah. But I, I kind of think that there's probably people down there who might need our help, and there's probably opportunities down there. My little brother might actually have a sensible point there that this, there might be a big score down there if the place is a bit of a shambles. Yeah, it's Alana. Well, so I'll do whatever say, I can to keep you all safe, but... Did you say, um, did you say we're, we're all losing our stress point? Yep. Okay. But I am scared. That was messed up what we heard. But if, if we yeah. can help people, we should help people anyway. That, that was some event horizon level stuff. Uh. <laughs> oh, man. Have you seen the collector's edition of that coming this fall? I can't wait. I'll I'll find the one. footage. Uh, it's a screen yeah, factory thing. Okay, so so, it. so uh, we're all we're all geared up. Do, do we have the weirdness of having a power loader on board again? Or... No, you don't have a power loader on this one. There's Sorry. nothing else. There's no armor. There's no. Um, we just no, um, like gonna take got... kits or anything that we could use to unlock you've doors. Got with. what you've got. This is it. Can I, Chevy? Can I take um, flashlight and can I take extra power packs? Yes. Oh, good thinking. Because we might need power. So I'm going to stick a flashlight down. How many power packs can I can I find? Uh, you've probably got about five spare yeah. ones aboard. I, th I think five's the default, isn't it? For... Yeah. As in what, the, the power available? Or is that five power packs with different uh, power you could have five each? power. You, you okay. could have five power packs. So, like so five power if, if you were to put it into your motion tracker, for example, you just fully recharge it. Yeah. I'm happy with that. I think, I think one power is technically a power pack in tears. The implication. Who, who had the um the tracker? Was it uh Phoebe Richtop? Yeah. Yeah. Would it make sense to give a couple of those to Richtop? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so what am I getting? Power packs. A power pack with five power okay. in it. Unlimited power. <laughs> okay. and, and he so just, just, just one. Or or am I like your pack mule here? Am I carrying two of them? So I think you may be getting five. Is that right? <laughs> Is this? Well, well I can only couple. carry four gear, and I'm at yeah. three with well, one power pack. So take an extra. Would that go as gear, or would it go as just adding numbers they're, to they're, the power supply? They'd be tiny it? items. It'd just be adding power yeah. um, to his power. So, so, power. so power's ten now. All batteries. Okay, so they're power like, pack. They're like those things that Vasquez and Brace yeah. without the smart. So gun. one power pack with ten power. No, just in in your. Wait, is this power? So on your, on your bottom left. With five power each, probably. Because then you roll five dice to see whether you use okay. any power. You don't so, want to roll ten dice. Gotcha. Over. So power, just add ten to that. So it'll be twelve total. What? Oh, was it? it was already... I have two. So I already have two. five. So just go two. to seven. Okay. Right. Oh. Oh, that whoops. should be enough. I accidentally get a roll. <laughs> yeah, it should be good. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> already lost one. Yeah, yeah, yeah you already lost one. That part. doesn't <laughs> count. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. I accidentally clicked on power. So I will say, in. like, the fact that we can play this from different parts of the world and Roll20 has all this stuff just built in is really cool. But yeah. it's, it's somebody else doing the hard work and putting it all on for everybody else. Yeah. 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 Dave, did you say this is your first time on Roll20? Or have you used it before? Yeah. No, never used it before. Are you, in, you liking it so far? So far, yeah, it's good. Um, yeah, absolutely. Not bad at all. Again, I think, I, in my experience, some, some of the stuff you get can be really quite heavy and there's so many things you can do with it that you spend more time playing with your your your, your game aid than actually gaming um but uh, this seems really good so far the way we're using it yeah it's very effective cool. I've liked right it so, so jonesy <laughs> yep. you've set a course it's an automated descent and through the window to the north of the colony you, mm -hmm. you can see like a very it's a very large mound and you can see from the top, that there, there does appear to be like a, a tunnel that goes underground towards How can we, how can we see the underground the tunnel? Because you can see it coming out from the top and then sloping down to go in. You can see the opening. Okay. Yeah. 
And by this mound, the... we're, we're, we're talking hill, mountain, it's slash big... thing. Not, not a mountain, but it's, it's, it's a large, large hill. Okay. Oh, is oh, it to the oh, north of the settlement, the colony, you say? Sorry. That's off to the north, yeah. Okay. But you're going to be landing here. So are, are, so, the, are, are, the, are the coordinates... Is the, is the automated pilot taking us to the coordinates or taking us to the new location? To the new ones. To the new yeah. location. Which happens so, to be 60 miles off, of course, where yeah. it should have been. Yep. <clears throat> in front of yep. a, a big hill instead. Big ant hill. Mm. So you do land... And you hear clamps locking on, going clunk, 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 clunk. And that, obviously because of the high winds, it's, it's there designed to keep ships locked in, locked to the deck. From mm. Instead than of blowing away. Okay. Be blown okay. away. I've got a feeling, clamps. I was going to say, I've got a feeling we won't be able to just easily <laughs> unclamp those. Is there a button that says unclamp somewhere? <laughs> <laughs> it should actually be, yeah. And then unclamp button. Just undock. Yeah. Can Perch. we? So from from here we can see the the colony, right? From the external, the exterior. Yep. So from the front, you can see you can see the colony. What does it look like? Does it uh, have power? You don't know. You don't know from here. So we can't so we see can't any lights or anything. Yeah. Any run lights no, on the? Um... It's, it's, they're not. They're not the type of buildings that have. Uh, kind of like windows so you could see in or anything like that they are solid okay. like metal structures. Okay. structures yeah what what's the time of day here is it quite bright light or is it dark yep. and gloomy it's, it's nice daytime right. you can <clears> hear <throat> the wind blowing past your ship is it heavy wind it's quite it's quite strong wind but it's not like an <laughs> lv426 kind of yeah is no, it it's like... not dust or anything like that okay. is it like there's grass or is it just Mud. Yeah, there's grass, trees. Okay. That's just windy. What is the windy. what is the mm. distance from our land site to the entrance of the colony? Uh, you've got probably a good say hundred meters from okay, so not too far. The, your ship to walking the walking distance. We can make yeah, a dash. It's walking distance. Yeah. But nobody is coming out to greet you with these power cells. And still no response to our communication attempts? Nope. And no signs of life? No. And, and we no. can't take off again? No. I hate to say it, but I mean, my sister, she's, she's the security officer here. I mean, can you see any signs of disturbance on the exterior of the building? Like, can you, what does this look like to you from your perspective? That's, yeah, that's a fair call. Um, can I have a, a look? with my observation to see if I can spot anything that's obviously out of order. Uh, you can, yeah, give it a go. Okay, let's see. I'll try it on the thingy, see if it works. Observation. Uh, oh, there you go. Okay. Yep. One, there you one go. success, okay. Right, so it's nothing, this is kind of what you expected, you, the, like the layout of the colony is exactly how it should be, except for this new tunnel at the north of the colony. Like, that shouldn't be there. Uh, there's nothing that you can actually see from here. Like, there's, there's that, no... that tunnel, it's, it's man-made, yeah, that tunnel. It's not... Yep. Yeah, yeah it's definitely... It's def it, it looks like I've it's added part of the mm. It's been added. Yeah. But there's no signs of any fires or... No. Weapons or explosions or anything like that nope nothing like that in terms okay. of that hill the mound can we see it from from our perspective behind the colony yes okay so it's, that a, it's a pretty sizable land it's model. sizable yeah we're talking avalon or bigger and this mound rises up behind the colony from where we are yeah so it's like yes. us, the colony the mound if, yeah okay. if you were to be on top of the hill you would Probably be looking down like yeah, <clears throat> way down onto it. And that looks like a geological formation, like it's made out of soil and rocks. It, just like a soily hill. Like I, just a it's hill. Just, it's, it's just a hill. It's just it's, a hill. But it, it, okay. Do you think it's yeah. a good shout they uh Well they, they must they have relocated us? here for yeah. a yeah. I'm guessing I mean, there's something inside there. They, they, they found, found something, if, maybe, yeah. I wonder if they found what we saw on the uh on the footage. 
<laughs> something found them, whatever yeah. it was. We're yeah. going to have to be, I suggest we be stealthy about of any movements we make mm. and go in a group, not split off from one another. <laughs> yes, yeah. Our number one priority is to find those five fuel cells. If we yes. get nothing else, then... Well, that's all we need to uh, do. That's all, yeah. that's all we came here to do. Yeah, yeah, I mean, exactly. hey, if, if, we, if we see anything else of value on the way, I don't know. Uh, do, do we have a layout map of the colony that we might have downloaded or something? No, that one. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm wondering. Are, are we just going in blind? Oh, Eric, <laughs> it will be soon to be revealed. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so I, I assume we, that on on the map we are. That's where we've landed, where yes, our icons yeah. are at the moment. Yeah, yep. and we're like six hundred yeah, feet from the entrance. Because what I was about to ask is, this is what we are physically looking at as characters. I'm assuming the spanner is what a, like a garage, and the little calculator is a terminal. Yeah, it's it's uh, like the iconography in the um, yeah. in the yeah. last ones. And the what, what is the crosshairs? That's an armory. Oh, okay. Mm. That could be useful to get to if we could, but um, yeah, let's go get the, where would the fuel cells likely well, to be? Well, well, if we head to like a terminal in the reception area or something, perhaps we can just check an inventory and, okay. and see where everything is. Mother, do we need to bring any, like, like, like a cart or something to actually carry or carry the, the power cells? Uh, the power cells are heavy. Uh, but, you, you wouldn't have a cart I mean, maybe we can find something in there to probably find load something in there. Okay. But I think we may, maybe you want to work out what the problem is as well. I mean, there might be people in there. Yeah, maybe just, they can help us. Something's broken down. There might not. It might not be really weird what's going on here, or it might be quite strange. So I think if, anyone left, if maybe something Phoebe, of that size maybe. comes at us, Alani, you think you can handle it? Well, I didn't really see very much, but yeah, it if anything comes big. at us, I'll shoot it. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Let's go to this terminal where it says number four. Number one. Number okay. One. Well, we, we've got okay. to go through one anyway, haven't we? We've got to go to, yeah, but from there, try to get to number four. So you lower the ramp then for your ship, mm -hmm. and you walk out, and as you get to the bottom of the ramp, from this direction, you can hear what sounds like heavy caliber weapon fire. Uh, weapon fire. Shit. From number, from number seven. Yeah, and it's the garage. Yep, you would know that is the vehicle bay. Do we want the to? Uh, you were given. Do we want to head over there instead, or keep going straight? I don't we think we want to run them. towards the shooting. <laughs> they could be in trouble. We could help them. I mean, I think that sounds like a, a decent shout. Mm, I'm not sure. It's in our best interests to run to a firefight that we know nothing about. Yeah, I'm what <laughs> to go there for the weapons, <laughs> if nothing else. But um. Would would it not be better to try and get like some internal comms or something? And yeah, I, yeah, we, we I, can always communicate that building from the interface. Well, hopefully, yeah. If they're right. still if they're still alive, they'll answer us. Mother, is the yeah. is the gunfire consistent, or is it just one little spurt? Can we still hear it? It, it was quite loud, uh, but after a few. Maybe 10 seconds. It's just faded, stopped. Can I tell what kind of weapon it was? Uh, yeah, that was a sentry gun. That was oh. a sentry gun, okay. Okay, well, in that case... Let's not go over there, then. Yeah, we yeah <laughs> because we don't have friend or foe badge things, it could easily open up on us if that's the yeah. sentry gun. Yeah. Also, we don't hear it anymore. At the end of the day, we're not that well armoured either, so... No, being on the wrong end of a sentry gun is, is not on my list of things to do as a security uh, yeah, advice. And plus, if it's a sentry gun, it's keeping preoccupied whatever the hell has set it off. So um, hmm. let's go hmm. to number one. Yeah. I think we should be relative. I think we should try and be a bit stealthy, though. There's definitely oh, yeah, something yeah. bad going on here. We do want to be in stealth, don't we? Yeah. So does, does this door here look intact? Does it look... Uh, uh. Are we rolling for stealth now? Oh. That's what you want to do. Okay, so um, that would be the lowest, right? Yeah, yeah, so my total's four. Hang on, let me look. Uh, so it's mobility plus agility, Eric. Yeah, mine's five. Mobility, agility, okay, but I've got four. Mine's four. So the lowest is so four, four at the minute. Yeah. yeah. What about Adam? you, Phoebe? 
Um, let's see here. Um, what stat am I looking at again? Agility, agility. and mobility. It's uh, three. Okay. So do that. Phoebe. <laughs> okay. So I just do a mobility roll. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Nice. Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah, nice. nice. That's very good. <laughs> Two successes. Cool. So, yeah, pretty stealthy. So, you get up to the door then at number one. Yeah. And you press the button. Is there any kind of viewing window looking through it at all? No. I think you said no windows, no. right? Nothing. No, no. Okay, yeah. No power. No power. Can I? There is a manual override to be able to actually unlock it. I move it out of the way. Okay. Is that heavy machinery? No. 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 We can we can just crank it. Okay. Yep. I, I think we ought to be cautious here. I think somebody should crank it. I'm going to sort of kneel right in front of the door and be an overwatch. Okay. Into well, the doorway. And if there's any movement in my direction that I think is hostile, I'm gonna open up on it. And I'm gonna be kneeling right behind you, sister. Uh, That's David. the right place. I'd, um, Phoebe's got the tracker as well, but could always. Oh, yeah. Do you want to do a. Yeah. Yeah. I'll do a, a roll on that. And then I think, David, as the engineer, you should probably be the one to uh, override it. Yeah. That's so fine. I that's roll fine. for my power number, right? So that's 76s. We'll just click power. Oh, right. Oh, oh Adam. Adam. You... Adam. Adam. <laughs> and, right. then so it begins. and then you uh, take one off of your power because you just lost six. Yeah. Well, let me try again, guys. No, you don't need to try. You've, no, that, you've no, done it. It worked. It just oh, means it still you does some it. of your okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, gotcha. Okay. So but what you end up with then? Only detects move motion, doesn't it? Yeah. Yep. Is that over there? Oof. Is that four pings, is it? That's four pings. Okay. I'm using the soundboard on my end. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the you know what? Oh. <laughs> cool. <laughs> now, because I'm screen recording my screen. I'm here. Right? Okay, so either. That's what you got. Yeah. Either yeah. they are things which set that sentry gun off and it's run out of ammunition, or they're survivors. We've got no way to know. No. Either way, they're not near us, but there's one over here by two. So it's close by. Well, but again, I mean, we don't know what the thing is. This could be a fight between people. We don't could. know that there's. Do we know? Do we know where Ops is? Like, where could we find more information about what's happening here? Well, we're going it's to terminal. that terminal. Yep. So, Ops. There's not really an Ops center, but administration is there. Okay. Like I said, um, you do is know this just a, to where things are. Is this just a generic colony? You were given the, the layout. Yeah, it's, but a mod saying, what, what, it's a modular colony. What's, yeah. what's the yeah. purpose of the colony? It's, it's just, so far as we know, it's just a, a generic colony. It is good. It was the plan is to be a way station, but because it's an okay. Earth-like, the idea is to expand and try and terraform That's, a bit so the wind dies down. So it's like yeah. prospecting colony. There's yeah. going to be families, basically. Okay, it's going to be. Yeah. Um. Well, we if if we want to get there to administration, the most direct route would be through. Um, building two. However, we have a ping there, so we don't know what it is, and we know there's some sort of biological contagion present. Um, so we could take the long way around, where we go through three, and then down through sixteen to six, and then over to five. Well, let's let's get into one first, and then have a listen at the door. See to what two, we can maybe. Yes. See, yeah. Maybe see we if there's any again. screeching or anything. Yeah, it might, or there might be somebody crying. It might be a person. Uh huh. Yeah, so we're heading in. We're a yeah. little girl named after an amphibian. Oh. Salamander. Okay. So in this room, it is dark, except for the light coming through the door. Uh, this area is just full of lockers and things like that. But again, nothing really looks like out of the ordinary. Nothing looks disturbed or anything like that. It looks fine. Adam, can you are you able to move your token? Yes, let me do that real quick. I thought we were just leaving you by the ship. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not leaving the medic behind. 
So can can we see through the internal doors? Can we? Is there any windows or anything? Or yes, these have little windows. Okay, okay. We'll, we'll see through. What what do yeah. we see? So from that, I will do stealthily, a switch. Stealthily, stealthily. Yeah. Yep. Stealthily. And you look. see a pale humanoid, and he is walking towards the door. <laughs> 